Hello, my dear students and the rest of the learners. Welcome to part three in an 18 part series of tutorials on applying spreadsheet using Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial, I'm going to look at the application areas of a spreadsheet. My name is Meme JM, or you can simply call me Emily Swap. What are the application areas of spreadsheets? The five main application areas of spreadsheets are statistical analysis, accounting, data management, forecasting, and scientific applications. Let's look at statistical analysis. What is statistical analysis? This is using a spreadsheet to compile and analyze a set of data as well as save steps when developing complex statistical or engineering analysis. The user provides the appropriate data and parameters for each analysis, and then through the use of appropriate automated function, the spreadsheet displays the results in graphs or output tables. What about the accounting? This is using a spreadsheet in recording daily transactions, keeping financial records, and managing finance through its inbuilt functions that make accounting tasks easier. It can be used by accountants to track the value of assets over time, calculate the profits, and prepare budgets. The fourth or the third function or application area of spreadsheets is data management. This is using a spreadsheet to manipulate data easily and quickly through its various functions, such as managing data neatly in tabular structure, filtering, entering data, viewing records, editing, and printing data. The fourth application is forecasting, or what we call what if analysis. This is using a spreadsheet to predict the outcome of a certain situation in a case a certain change is made to the data values entered in a worksheet. It involves changing the value of one of the arguments in a formula in order to see the difference that the change would make on the results of the calculations. It is used for financial forecasting, budgeting, stock portfolio analysis, cost analysis, cash flow, amongst the others. The fifth application of spreadsheets is the scientific applications. This is using a spreadsheet to simplify and generate solutions to scientific problems that needs to be manipulated mathematically with the use of scientific functions. The spreadsheet is used to analyze the various scientific findings from various researchers in order to come up with the appropriate solutions to the problems investigated. And with that, we have come to the end of the applications of spreadsheets. You can now continue to part four of the 18 series in which I'm going to explain or demonstrate on how to create a new worksheet. Congratulations for learning part three of 18 on application areas of a spreadsheet. You can access other parts in applying spreadsheet series, as well as other computer or ICT videos by clicking or tapping on MLSWAP ICT YouTube channel below this video. To subscribe to the channel, tap on subscribe button below this video in YouTube if it's not currently reading as subscribed. For any further correspondence, kindly write it to us through the email mlswap at gmail.com. Thank you very much for listening to me. Let's meet in part four of this series. And God bless.